Camping and coffee. Many people enjoy one or the other, and some like both together. So maybe you like roughing it? Well, we still have a couple of good weeks of camping weather left, and with those cool mornings, who wouldn't want a great cup of coffee over the campfire? Lee Wallace is the self-proclaimed queen bean of Peace Coffee, and she joins us now to talk about some easy methods to brew if you happen to be off the grid. Lee, thanks for being here. Happy to be here. Thanks. Th uh, tell people about Peace Coffee if they're not familiar. Sure. Peace Coffee is a Minneapolis-based coffee company. We were founded in 1996, and since the very start, we've been in it for good. And we're a certified B Corporation, and that means we consider all aspects of our business. Uh, we think about our impact on people, communities, and on the planet. And we also love coffee. That's fantastic. And you have a new one out, don't you? We do. We have our nocturnal blend out. It's our fall seasonal. It's perfect for crisp mornings. Um, I'm obviously in my backyard, not roughing it, but I do love camping and I do love coffee. <laughs> so, hey, you know what? My backyard's actually roughing it. So for me anyway, but uh, so tell us a little bit if you happen to be out and you want to make coffee when you're on the run, uh, you've got a couple of different ways here that we can try. Yeah, I have three different ways. So starting on the end, the first one is just, it's it's a it's a lightweight version of a pour over. It reminds me of the way my dad used to make coffee, but updated for the year 2020. Um, it's called a mere origami. It's just a pour over. You get your water boiling on the campfire, you put your grounds in and you just pour the water through. It tastes like typical filtered coffee, but it's a great way to brew on the go. All right, what's number two? Uh, uh, number two is an AeroPress, you'll see. Um, that is a method of um, brewing coffee. It, it's almost close to espresso in terms of the type of coffee that it produces, but it's lightweight, folds up. You can just put your nocturnal blend in there and make yourself a nice, a nice cup of coffee. I hadn't heard of that one before. Yeah, it, it's been around for quite a while actually, but um, it's been gaining popularity in recent years. All right, and what's our final way? Well, that's what's in my cup. I skipped over the percolator coffee. We don't need to do percolators anymore, um, but you can take your French press on the road and that's what I'm drinking now. So I just put my coffee grounds in there. I boiled my water on the campfire, you pour the coffee in there and then you wait, give it a little bit of time to steep and then press it down and put it in your cup. It's delicious. Now, are you one of those people that likes to ground your own beans at home or do you buy them already ground? You know, no judgment, people should, buy ground coffee if they want to buy ground coffee. I personally um, grind my beans before I brew my coffee every time. That's because I'm a coffee professional and uh, I need to keep up appearances. No, it, it does, coffee does stay fresher in whole bean form, um, but you know, go ahead, buy ground if that works for you. I just put it in my veins intravenously. That's how I, that's how I do I coffee. I mean, that's the, <laughs> so definitely the fastest way to get caffeinated for sure. Where can we find you guys, Peace Coffee? Uh, PeaceCoffee.com. You can get our nocturnal blend at Lunds and Barley stores, Kowalski stores, food co-ops, or on our website. Lee, thank you so very much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers to you. Enjoy your backyard roughing it. We appreciate it.